Hey everybody, wanted to do another little quick video for you guys. Uh, so a couple weeks or months back, I discovered that there was actually an update to the Android Auto settings in your vehicle that allowed you to use Samsung Smart Things from the vehicle. It only allows you six devices, but my video previously about how to set up your uh, your garage door is now obsolete if you have Samsung Smart Things. And I'm going to show you why here in just a second. Get everything loaded up. Wait for Android Auto to come up. From there, we're gonna hit Samsung Smart Things. And as you can see, I have my front door, the left and right garage door. I can disarm the security, turn on the front porch light. Do that real quick just to show you guys. See those lights are on now. And we're gonna go ahead and open the garage door. I can even turn on the TV. Let's go ahead and lock that front garage, front door, and the garage is open. So, like I mentioned, if you're already using Samsung Smart Things, you can just set up those devices. You have to be in the Android Auto menu. I'll show you that here in a second. You have to have Android Auto turned on to get into the settings. Okay, so like I just mentioned, unfortunately, you can't access these Samsung Smart Things features unless you're running Android Auto and Samsung Smart Things on the screen. Uh, but if you wanted to make changes to what is available in the Samsung Smart Things app, you just go on your phone and hit the menu key, the little three bars. Then up at the top, you're going to hit the settings key, which is the gear icon. And then you're just going to scroll down to Android Auto. And then from here, you have the option to make a few changes. You only have six icons that you can choose from. Uh, I guess that's more of a feature to make sure you're not as distracted as you already are, you know, from actually interacting with the screen. Uh, also may have to do with the real estate and how they have the, uh, the app configured. Uh, but I don't think that they would probably want to do more than six icons, but you do have the option to choose your items from what's already in smart things as you can see you can also hold down on the icons to rearrange them just like you would on any other device and then slide them around then you also have the option for scene notification which you can click there and based on your geofencing you can set something for arriving and leaving so if you know for sure you never have an instance where you need to open your garage door uh, from Samsung smart things you can use something else in that uh, and use an arrival scene to open your garage or, or something to that effect and it's based on your phone so it will it will more so work when your phone is using Android Auto and in those locations so that does kind of give it a little bit more of a benefit instead of just your phone arriving and opening the garage arbitrarily your phone would be running Android Auto and open the garage for you so that is an option all right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it and learned something. And remember to like and subscribe and make sure you hit the notification button so you see any time I post new videos. I have a couple of projects in the queue for this year already. I'll be dropping videos here very regularly real soon. See you guys on the next one. Later.